Hello, this is Supervisor James Gore. I um, want to say hello to everybody in the Alexander Valley and then some. I uh, just want to take the opportunity to invite you to our board meeting on Tuesday uh, at 3 p.m. Uh, this coming Tuesday to provide input on the, uh, the amended uh, or potential amendment of the memorandum of agreement between the County of Sonoma and the Dry Creek Rancheria, uh, Dry Creek Band of Pomo Indians. Uh, many of you that's come to your attention either in the past uh, four to six months when we've been having uh, been having conversations with the board of the Alexander Valley Association about this work or uh, even some some recently at the AVA, the Alexander Valley Association uh, uh, annual meeting where this was discussed. I've been getting a lot of emails from folks about uh, questions, concerns, uh, uh, other things. Uh, some of it's environmental review, some of it's about the potential of a large-scale development up in the hills. And so I wanted to give a quick update, process update. Once again, invite you to join us because I'm going to be going uh, through a lot of questions, legal, otherwise, um, and make sure that uh, you make your, sure your voice is heard on, on Tuesday when it comes before my board. Um, so uh, many of you know that in 2008, long before I became a supervisor, uh, there was an agreement reached uh, between the County of Sonoma and uh, the Dry Creek Rancheria uh, that allowed for gaming up on that, um, up on the mountain there. And there's uh, something called a compact with the state that regulates the gaming activities of a tribe, but also there were local uh, mitigations and local impacts uh, that were addressed through that. There was also an allocation of funding that came, that went towards uh, increasing uh, sheriff deputies in the area. Um, and, uh, and quite a few other elements of that agreement. But one of the aspects of that agreement was that uh, there was uh, approval in this agreement for under a process with environmental review and mitigation potentials and other things for up to 600 rooms as a resort on the mountain up there. So this 2008 agreement set forth this potential for 600 rooms as an approved amount and uh, with, once again, a environmental review and assessment provided by either the county, uh, the Alexander Valley Association and others to be able to put in comments for the tribe to be able to respond to those. And before developing anything is um, if there was any dispute, it would go to binding arbitration. Uh, some of this is gonna be covered a, little, a lot more in detail when we get before the board um, of supervisors on Tuesday and start reviewing this. Uh, after I got elected, I was elected in November of 2014, uh, sometime in 2015 and going forward, we, uh, we got together and there was a second set of conversations that uh, were instigated by uh, the onset of the Grayton Casino and the impacts on the Dry Creek Tribe and also simultaneously the review of a liquor license. The liquor license for the tribe has a lot of conditions added into it. Um, that have not just uh, things about liquor, but also hours of operation, also other activities on site, um, other things that, that focus on management of the casino activities as they will. So the Alexander Valley Association, the county, the tribe all worked on that. We all had lawyers at the table and that actually uh, reduced the amount of the impact fee because uh, the tribe opened up their books. There was work done on all sides to identify that uh, that the impact of Grayton had greatly reduced revenues over there, and that there was uh, there was seven million in arrears and payments to the county. So it provided for a sustainable path forward for payments into the county to continue to pay for those law services and other things. There was a lump sum uh, payment that um, I worked with you all and uh, Alexander Valley Association did a great job showing up at my board meeting. Uh, uh, Del Trudenic and I think others, and uh, also helped by asking for some of those, uh, that lump sum to go towards direct impacts in the area, not just county impacts for law enforcement and fire and other things. And we were able to get a million dollars allocated that's gone into uh, a lot of the planning purposes with, uh, um, with things like the Alexander Valley Firehouse and improvements in Geyserville and in Alexander Valley. I want to thank the AVA and for the Geyserville Municipal Advisory Council for leading in and working on the allocation of that. So after that time, uh, it got pretty quiet, but, uh, but um, last year, uh, the tribe approached the county. They're in the 2015 revised agreement. There was a provision in there. If I make sure I get these, these dates right, I might get one wrong. But uh, for a reopener, uh, there was a variety. There was three different agreements that were governing this with a bunch of different attachments. Some of the mitigation for the activity in the casino was 
from the agreement with the county. Some of it was from the liquor license and the others. And so we went into, uh, the, they approached the county and through county council, um, there were discussions that started about uh, looking at a revised agreement. Um, the tribe's lawyers and the lawyers for the county had a few initial discussions. I, I was approached by the, um, uh, by the by council, county council, uh, to have some discussions. I met with individuals from the tribe. There was three kind of main areas. One was the, um, the amount that was paid to the county, which uh, a request to decrease that. Um, the county staff off the bat was pretty firm that, uh, that we'd already reduced it from um, in the 2015 amended agreement by quite a bit. And so wanted to continue with that. The second one was to amend some of the conditions uh, for the current casino usage, and that was uh, put out in a way that uh, um, the response back from the from the county to the tribe in many ways is that was governed under um, under the liquor license, which could come up at some point, and we'll have to weigh in on. And um, and so not moving on that. And so the third aspect was uh, the development of the casino property, uh, the the future uh, resort and casino. So once again, um, setting into the initial agreement has an allowance for 600 room under certain mitigation. They worked with the county. At that time, I said, whoa, coming and talking to me, um, I need to include the Alexander Valley Association and the individuals from Alexander Valley. So then August of last year, uh, there was a board item posted, uh, request to have that pulled, uh, went into conversations with the Alexander Valley Association. And I wanna thank the Alexander Valley Association for uh, pulling together the resources and holding conversations since last August. I believe we've met five times um, Zoom and sometimes in person and gone over very de detailistic uh, uh, different scenarios uh, on the legal side of what all this means. Um, I know at one point last year, I don't know if it was September, or October, but uh, the Alexander Valley Association Board and the tribe um, met uh, on their own and had their conversation independently. I was told by both sides that it didn't uh, result in agreement, I think is, uh, is one way to put it. And, um, and so this process has gone forward. Uh, the county at one point wanted to bring it forward late last year. I was the chair. I requested to have it pushed into the new year, um, uh, into this time. And then it was originally going to come up in uh, January. Uh, and then I asked to be, have it pushed further into February. Um, and so we continue to have conversations with uh, that. It was actually at the request of the Alexander Valley Association. I want to thank them for putting all that in writing and getting it out. Um, and it really detailed like the need to have more time to review the provisions. It's very uh, difficult to understand the legalese in this document, but some of you might be seeing before you is, is that one of the provisions would be, would be changing the overall agreement or allowance from a 600 room casino down in and, and uh, resort down into a 300 room. But there's concern from some individuals that the change in the process for the environmental review would uh, would take away some of the rights of the Alexander Valley Association to either communicate directly and not through the county uh, to have their their uh, their assessments reviewed by the tribe. Or secondly, is is that they would want to uh, um, were worried that some of the environmental mitigations would, didn't go as far as the original memorandum of agreement. So a lot of this is this is a bunch of gobbledygook. I'm about eight eight minutes in on this video. Um, I want to save you uh, the trouble of going uh, any further with me on this. I just want to state that um, I want to thank the Alexander Valley Association for digging in uh, over the last four to five, at least six months, um, and really representing you well. And, uh, and I know that you all, many people were at a meeting and are signing a petition now. I'd encourage you to come to our Board of Supervisors meetings. Um, I was under the false pretense that um, my work with the Alexander Valley Association meant that many of you were getting um, updates as well, and I take that upon myself uh, that I was not. So I pride myself on uh, on doing proactive public outreach, and uh, my assumption that I was doing that just with the AVA, I, I think, was uh, disrespectful to them and maybe to some of you as well. So I take that. Um, and so uh, so the key here is that is that I'd like, I, I hope you'll join me. I hope you join me. For the conversation, I hope you'll make your, sure your voice is heard, and I, I hope my whole my whole board yeah, hears loud and clear.